Money. Money, money, money. A good PC is realistically going to cost you a lot of money. But what if you could save on that PC? What if you could save potentially hundreds of dollars on that PC because you know exactly how your PC is going to perform? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that with one simple tool. Howdy, my name is Timmy, here with Sirius Power PC. And before we get into today's video, please go ahead and leave a like, that would greatly show your support, as well as hitting the subscribe button with notification bell on because we're going to be posting some gaming content very, very soon. Hey guys, it's me, future editing Timmy. I just wanted to really, really quickly say thank y'all so, so much for, I think now we're up to 21,000 subscribers. That is absolutely crazy in such a short time period. That's absolutely awesome that we have those numbers already and it's all because of you so thank you very very much let's get back to the video now let's get straight into using this tool the tool is going to be howmanyfps.com and this thing i wish i knew about it when i was buying my pc because i would have been able to see the exact performance of a gpu plus cpu combo and more with just a couple of clicks so Let's get straight into how to use this tool. So you're going to want to go ahead and come here to Google and type in how many FPS. Then go to your first option, howmanyfps.com. Also leave a link in the description down below so that you can get there more easily. So we'll first go ahead and calculate some FPS in different games. So we'll go ahead and come up here and click games and we'll find a game that I've uh, been playing a lot recently, if it's on here. I have played, we'll, we'll look at a couple different games in this video, but for right now, I'm looking for one in particular. There it is, okay, Sea of Thieves, cool. So I want to, because this is a hypothetical build I'm going to be doing soon, I'm going to search for an i9-14900KF, because that's the CPU I'm going to be using, and I'm going to search for the 4070 ti i'm pretty sure it's the ti super so i'll enter that in uh graphics let's let's start off at 1080 graphics preset mythical we'll go ahead and do that and we'll calculate fps obviously these numbers may not necessarily be exact but as you can see i will receive an average of 249 fps with a low one percent of 145 let's see what it would be in 4k because i'm interested i know that sea, uh, sea of thieves is a fairly graphically intensive game 168 fps low one percent is 97 that's not bad we'll uh we'll scroll down here build a pc for sea of thieves this is a pretty cool option as well so now i'm going to show you another cool feature of howmanyfps.com we're going to compare this cpu to uh, let's say a really really popular cpu that uh that i see in a lot of different gaming builds that's the ryzen 7 7800 x3d we'll get that entered in and go ahead and click compare so this is really cool in the fps category the intel is going to win but obviously it's going to be more expensive that's cool that you can see uh the prices for different things uh we'll scroll down here so specifically in sea of thieves oh okay because i was doing it from the from the page of sea of thieves Specifically in Sea of Thieves on 4K settings with a 4070 Ti Super, we are going to get 168 FPS on this, and the the value... Okay, so that's actually very... That's a very close... Yeah, so the value winner is the Ryzen 7, and the FPS winner is the i9. The value per FPS is $2.47 on the Ryzen CPU, whereas with the Intel CPU, it's $3.18 per FPS. So if you scroll down even further, then you can see some of the top five games using these two different CPUs, as well as some benchmarks and the release dates and a bunch of other information like the base speeds, the turbo speeds, and, and are there integrated graphics, stuff like that. So a lot of really, really helpful information here now. I want to move on because we've kind of been looking exclusively at the processor sides of things. Let's go up here to graphics cards and we're going to compare two graphics cards to one another. Now we're here under the graphics cards tab. I'm going to compare the 
4080 Super, pretty recent card, to the AM, oops, I misspelled that, AMD uh, RX 7900 XTX. Let's go ahead and compare these two graphics cards. Alrighty, so... Uh, in terms of FPS winner, the RX 7900 XTX wins. Let's scroll down and find some more information about these. So, uh, you can see your key differences here. There are advantages to the 4080 Super, and there are a lot more advantages to the AMD uh, RX 7900 XTX. We've actually made several videos on AMD products, like our recent video on the 8000G CPU series. I'll leave that in the top right hand of the screen right now if you want to check that out. But we're yet again comparing in Sea of Thieves because this is a game I play quite a bit. We'll use the i9-14900KF as a reference, and we'll see down here in... Whew, Counter-Strike 2, it can get 450 frames on very high settings. That is ridiculous. <laughs> and then still some more information about the different graphics cards here. This is a really, really helpful tool if you want to look up more information and get some statistics, kind of collect some statistics when doing research for your PC. There's one game in particular I'm looking for here as well because I know it runs really, really hot on the system and i'm trying there it is ready or not okay this this is a game i've been looking at more recently and i know it runs relatively hard on your system so 14900kf we're going to use the same graphics card as before uh, we're going to put it in 4k settings because that's realistically what i'd be playing on highest settings possible upscaling we'll just leave that to native and let's go ahead and calculate the fps and then we'll look at a bit more information on the game later so 133 fps with this cpu and this gpu combo that's not that bad uh, low one percent of 69 fps nice okay yeah so that's that's pretty good that's not awful it's not incredible but it's not awful either i know this game in particular runs pretty hot on a uh, on your system something interesting i like that how many fps throws in there is the game optimization so like how well the game takes advantage of your different components wow elden ring poor elden wing ring that elden wing <laughs> arc survival evolved as well i want to take a look at these because arc is another game that i haven't played recently at all but i really really want to get back into average of 88 fps low 26 fps and that's on epic settings as well that's the thing is i i can't remember a time i don't think i've ever played with arc on epic settings just because so much happens in that game so much is having to be generated that uh that it's pretty rough so anyways guys how many fps.com is a really really great tool if you're looking to gather some information if you're still you know in the budgeting stage of making your pc if you're still in the research stage before you you know commit to something look up some games that you're going to be playing that way you can save money if there's a cheaper option for a graphics card, this website can help you find it. If there's a good pairing, maybe you have your mind set on a CPU, but you don't really know what graphics card is best in the price range you're looking at, this is a really, really great tool to help. And also, if HowManyFPS.com isn't able to provide you with the information you're looking for, reach out to us at SeriousPowerPC.com or comment on this video in the comment section down below, and we will try to answer any questions that HowManyFPS.com may not be able to help you find. Anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, as well as subscribing with the bell on. That greatly shows your support. And also, we're going to be making gaming content soon, so definitely, definitely don't miss that we love you if you're still watching truly thank you we really appreciate you for spending this time with us my name is timmy here with serious power pc and if you have any questions or if you want to learn some more about tech go ahead and subscribe to our channel or reach out and give us a visit at seriouspowerpc.com thank you so so much for watching i'll see you guys next week with a brand new video